only we had more hearts. Listen, if we work quickly, we can cut our losses. Those thieves didn't nab everything. One of the Rotneth bladders is ready to turn, but we're short on a few critical seasonings. You're good with animals. Maybe you can help me out. Just a couple of things, really. Thunderbug hearts from the wild thunderbugs down the hill, and some maggots. And, well, if you want to know, there's something else bothering me. Can you meet me by the cold cave when you're done? It's right below our feet, so to speak. The entry's on the hillside. You can't miss the cold air coming from it. Promise you'll meet me there? Not a moment too soon. It's as I suspected. The village is in considerable danger. Galithor's Atronarch is starting to thaw. It's waking up. Firuin said this might happen. Something about regular bindings. And now she's gone, no one knows how to bind it. Not at all. It's supposed to stand still and keep things cool. But now it's creaking around, taking a swing at anything warmer than an icicle. I can hunt well enough, but Atronarchs aren't my usual game. I knew I could count on you. If you don't come back, well, I don't know what I'll do, but I'll certainly do something. You really are a wonder, aren't you? 
If I were younger, I might ask you to show me how you do it. That's not the life for me, though. Not now, anyway. With this, the Rotmeth will turn out great. A pity to lose all that ice, but to be honest, the Atronarch always gives me the chills. Just standing there, watching. We'll make do with the cave. What was good for our parents is good for us, eh? <laughs>